guys, it's me, Brianna, and it's going to be a makeup tutorial. I know, so excited. Anyway, this is going to be um, how to create a smoky eye with color. I've had a lot of people ask me about, you know, using color on their lids and it becoming really muddy or um, it becoming unwearable or just not looking great. This is a really easy, foolproof way to wear color on your lids and it come out looking phenomenal. Again, you don't have to use purple. You can use green, blue, orange, yellow, red. Any color will work. So if you're interested in this wearable um, smoky eye, then I hope you will continue to watch. First things first, I'm going to use my e.l.f. eyelid primer in the color white. Primer will allow my eyeshadow to stick better, show up more vibrant, allow it to not fade and crease throughout the day. So I'm going to take that primer, it's going to blend it all over my eyelid. As my base, I'll be using my LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color white. And base will just allow my shadows to be more vibrant. Again, something to stick to. It also helps to prevent creasing and fading. So I'm taking that base, I'm just going to blend it all over my lid just like I did my primer. Now I'm going to be using um, two palettes. I'm going to be using the palette from Jessie's Girl and then my BH Cosmetics palette. I received this Jessie Girl's palette from my Ipsy bag for this month. If you don't know what Ipsy is, Ipsy is just a subscription based um, where you pay $10 a month and you get four to five sample products each month. Um, sometimes you get full size products. Usually you get about one full size product and then four um sample products or sample size um so i got this for my ipsy for this month of february if you're interested in ipsy i'll put the link down below and just ten dollars a month i've been subscribed for over a year and i just i love ipsy so i'm going to be using um this color right here which is a tannish white color and this is by jesse's girl and this is in the color tickle pink i'm going to use that color right here I'm just going to apply that to my brow bone. Now I'm going to take a shadow that's similar to my complexion. And I'm using Jordana. And it's actually a blush. It's called Sienna. You guys know I always use this. And I'm going to take a e.l.f. blending brush. And I'm just going to blend that above my crease. And this will act as a transition color. Which will prevent me from my shadows going too far up and also makes it easier to blend so 